Today we're going to be detailing the Corsa. Uh, whenever you buy a new car, the best thing that I think you should do is give it a full detail, clay bar, decontamination, wheels off. I'm not going to do wheels off today because we have got new wheels and I'll probably clean inside there when I fit the new wheels, but definitely full decontamination and then hand polish. But if you've got a machine polish like a DA, then definitely give it a proper polish and then start from scratch so the car's all ready for you and you know where it's at and how the paint condition is and things like that. So what we'll do, we'll start by washing it. Three bucket method, starting with the wheels, work your way up through, paint work starting at the top, work your way down, working straight lines, all that stuff, snow foam, everything. And then we'll get to the decontamination and then move forward and start polishing. foam and detail brushing done, now rinse it off. Okay so now that's the car snow foam rinsed off and everything like that. I've done that before because the car is really dirty so I just wanted to get that step out of the way. Now I'll do the wheels and then clean the body of the car. And for the wheels I'm trying out a new product, I've never used it before, Valet Pro uh, wheel cleaner and this is dilutable and it's a 1 to 10 so it's uh, it's quite a neat concentrate uh, so it'll last a long time 5 litres will last you a long time and it even comes with a spray bottle that you dilute it in so you can spray it on the wheels <laughs> bodywork of the car and we're working straight lines with top to bottom and just get around it all right that's the car all cleaned we're not going to bother drying it because we're going to clay bar it because it's pretty rough and while we're doing this the, uh, the sump plug turned up so we'll be able to get that done in a later video right, as i've said in previous videos get your clay bar you don't need clay lube just get your soapy water again wet the panel rub your clay bar over light pressure folding it when it gets too dirty and just go over the whole car sideways motions cross hatch if you drop the clay bar throw it in the bin get a new piece and carry on <music> And this is why we clay the car because that's not even half the bonnet and you've just watched me clean the car so let's fold it carry on all right so we're ready to polish now but in typical british weather fashion it started raining so what i've done is i've set up the gazebo just to keep the rain off me and i'll start polishing polish I'm using is Auto Finesse Triple all in one polish, the Auto Finesse uh, DA and then I've had I've got some three inch polishing pads from Auto Bright because they're just down the road from me. So what we'll do, we'll get this all polished up, we'll start off on the roof, do a little test and see how it comes up. Put quite a bit on there because it's a brand new pad and you prime the pad and then it'll be like three small piece sized dots for when you're actually polishing. I'm trying to 
try not to take the pad off of the body until it stops because sometimes it can just flip polish everywhere. We'll give that a wipe down now, see how it looks. Can't really see on camera because it's a bit dull in here, but it's gone well, so what we'll do is we'll do the whole roof. Okay, so there, this is the part that I've tested. And we move. So that's not polished. That is polished. There's a bit of marring, but we'll just do a final cut afterwards. But that looks good. This is that. that this side of the roof done so what I'll do is I'll concentrate on this side of the car and then I'll move to that side of the car pad on this is the fine cut and this is what just all we'll have to use for now until I can get some decent decent pads that aren't gonna just unstick themselves or blow up on me update the panels are looking quite good but the medium cut pads just just gone on me it's come unstuck from its velcro backing which says twice an auto bright pad has done that on me even though there was no heat in the panel there was no heat in the pad they just they just come unstuck absolutely terrible but I can now not get rid of these fine scratches that are running down here because the soft pad the fine polishing pad just won't just won't cut into it enough it'll polish it to a, a nice shine but it won't get rid of any little scratches and the only other pad I've got is the microfiber pad which I know is going to happen again because I've, that's the pad that I first experienced one of their pads just popping off on me so I don't know what to do right so there's a couple of things that is happening here so this pad is expanding a lot when this, when I turn it on and spin it, right? So it's either the auto finesse machine has got too high of RPM or this pad is not designed for an RPM that is this high. But I don't know, I don't think that auto finesse would make a machine that had a too high of RPM because they use them themselves and they do a nice job from what I can see and other people use them. So it's either, so it must be the pad and they specifically for their own DAs, which I have, I just don't like it. It's too big and bulky for my liking. So that can be the only explanation for it, that they've made a pad that's only for their machines, but they don't tell you that when you buy it. I don't know, but we'll make do, we'll go lightly. We'll just try to do our best to get the whole car done 
and see where see where we end up. And when messaging auto brought on Instagram about what happened with the pad, that's their response. See the message, leave the message. So, what can you do? Well, while I'm polishing the car, I'm just going to take the heat gun on the faded plastic trims, warm up a bit, just try to try and get them a bit more black. Uh, it's not a permanent solution, but it will, will make the car look better for the interim. <laughs> there's there's the difference it's not massive but it does make them look slightly better so just run the heat gun over them gently warm them up slowly and then that's the result that you'll get okay that's the car all done so while i show you what the car looks like now as best i can because it is still raining um basically what happened is all the pads just kept going to um they kept expanding load the glue just kept going soft even though there wasn't much heat in them things like that so they just it just wasn't ideal i've made do with what i could auto bright still haven't got back to me and it's like an hour and a half two hours later now so it is what it is i'll go down there and just say look what you're doing and see what they say but this is the uh that'll be the end of the video but don't forget like this video and subscribe because we've got loads more coming for the Corsa. We've got lowering springs, wing mirrors, wind deflectors, wiper delete, all that kind of stuff that is cheap to do. And then we've got new wheels as well, so stay tuned.